Hey, welcome back YouTubers to another hashtag TTH build update on the Black Seas, well, naval wargaming table for small scale. Um, before I jump into it quickly, uh, this is going to be a very short overview and update. Firstly, thanks for helping me reach 200 subscribers, guys. Really appreciate it. I, I've just released a video and an unboxing where I'm showing my gratitude, but once again, thank you for the support from all my fans and subscribers. Um, there will be many more videos. So let's dive into this. So this is the update on the wargaming, naval wargaming table. These are a few rocky islands that I've done. This, these are just base coats with some dry brushing. I'm just playing around with color because I don't know if this is going to be a Mediterranean sort of vibe or Caribbean or um, sort of just general for naval combat. So Obviously, around the edges of these islands, I'm going to dry brush white, so sort of the waves hitting the rocks type thing. Um, for the materials, a lot of this is isoboard, a very strong foam, and then I've just gone and hacked and carved. Um, same with all the islands. And then what I've done to add a bit of more of an earthly look, I took rocks out of my garden and um, popped them in here. And then with the plaster, they've sort of blended in quite nicely. <clears throat> and then the blue, I've chosen a very light-ish, I'm calling it a Caribbean blue, I don't know the name, does it, there's no name on the bottle proper, so um, that's given this blue effect, but I will be doing dry brushing of white, so sort of the wave marks, the white horses, that type of thing. Um, so yeah, these islands, as I said, they're going to have dry brushing, so there's still quite a bit of work, this is not done, um, still got to do the edges as well. So this is sort of the, the rocky islands the ships have to navigate past, and the sloops, the very tiny sloops and um, the rowboats and maybe the brigs can fit through here. Um, but obviously these represent dangers in the game. Um, and then your little cannon fortifications and outposts can pop up all over these islands. Then if we move it to where I'm working on currently, hence why there's a big open gap here. So more rocky cove sort of thing. Um, this is going to be the main island with the town. I've just been priming a few of the edges. I've built a bit of a port here sort of thing. Some tribal um, huts, you know, then technically it'll be a Caribbean theme. Um, some walls and then I tried to cut out a bit of a fortified wall to see what it would look like. But I'm trying to get, I'm, I might 3D print because I did buy the um, the Black Seas Defense Terrain Set pack, scenery pack. So th that will, those models look a hell of a lot better. So I'm going to maybe get some friends to help me 3D print some forts or something. Because this, I tried to get the design from NASA. It's not the whole island. Um, from the game um, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, where you had the, the mountain with the, with the sort of the hill with the fort. And then um, sort of your village over here. And then this leading towards more of the forested bit of the island. So, yeah, that is as far as I am. Very quick update. And then when the ships leave the port, they've got to navigate through there. So, might add a sort of a, a non-fixed island. I'll see. And then you've got this big rocky piece over here just a few meters away from the main island. So, and the ships can come through here. So, they can enter from all sides of the board. And then... Yeah, I know the scenery pack comes with some nice wrecked ships. So once those are on, so when I'm done with everything, I'm going to put some music in the video, do a big, like I did with the D-Day board, those of you who have been following me for that. Um, I'm going to do a big sort of reveal with the ships, as you can see them sitting over there um, on the table. Oh, sorry, guys. Let's get this damn camera to focus. There we go. So once everything's done, and placed and painted and i'm still playing with color so as i said this one i think i'm fine with dry brush and white those two okay that one on the end not sure might change but yeah so still quite a bit of work ahead got a few more ships to finish too um and some priming and then we shall be good to go in all ship shape um that is the review and update so far on the naval wargaming table guys sorry about the focusing i have no idea what's going on with this camera tonight but um let me know what you think down below those of you who play cruel seas black seas victory at sea whatever this is going to be a more um, black seas oriented table 
um, and maybe Victorizzi, but we will see. <laughs> Excuse the pun. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for following. Until the next update, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Thoughts, criticisms, credit criticism anything any tips um, it's my first time doing islands of this scale so bear with me but um, yeah I will see you guys in the next video stay tuned don't forget to leave a like and subscribe cheers